Good morning again, precious brothers and sisters. It is April the 2nd, 2013. We're only in to day two in the month of April, and things are just escalating when we look at end time Bible prophecy. The hand on the clock, beloved, is about to strike the midnight hour. I want to thank again viewer and subscriber of mine, Allison, who sends me this disturbing report coming out of Saudi Arabia. Gather around, grab some coffee first, all right? Not only are Christians being persecuted, being imprisoned, beaten, hung, some being uh, crucified, others beheaded. Now, in Saudi Arabia, they want to destroy all the Christian churches. Let me bring you this story. I'll put the link below. I'm going to put my glasses on. I guess I'm getting a little bit older, and I need to admit that, and uh, just so I can read the article clearly as I present it to you. Are you ready for this? We are truly in the very uh, last, last moments. Saudi Arabia de declares destruction of all Christian churches in region. All right. Earlier this month, news reports surfaced out of Saudi Arabia that raised the red flag for Christians. Todd Nettleton, a spokesman for Voice of the Martyrs USA, says the Grand uh, Mufta of Saudi Arabia, the top Islamic official in the country of Saudi Arabia, has declared that it is necessary to destroy all the Christian churches of the region. Nettleton goes on to note that the report hasn't surfaced anywhere except on the Council on Foreign Relations website, which was then picked up by the Atlantic, as Saudi Arabia is ranked second on the Open Doors World Watch List, a compiled list of the 50 countries where persecution of Christians is most severe. The news is not really a surprise. There is no provision for religious freedom in the constitution of this Islamic kingdom. All citizens must adhere to Islam and conversions to another religion is punishable by death. Public Christian uh, worship is forbidden. Worshippers risk imprisonment, lashing or taking a beating, deportation and torture. Evangelizing Muslims and um, Distributing non-Islamic material is illegal. Muslims who convert to Christianity risk being subjected to honor killings. And foreign Christian workers have been exposed to abuse from employees. Sheikh Abdul Aziz Ibn Abdullah, the Grand Mufta of Saudi Arabia, created an implication with his assertion. Nettleton explains, this was in a meeting with Kuwait officials who came to Saudi Arabia. They were asking uh, this Islamic official, what should we do about the Christian churches? His statement was this, there should be no Christian churches on the Arabian Peninsula. I'll put the link to this below. Saudi Arabia declares destruction of all Christian churches in the region. Brothers and sisters, the time is at hand. The hour is late. The clock is about to strike midnight. If you're watching this and you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, there is really no more time. I ask if you are ready, if you will repeat this prayer after me. Go to your Father in heaven. Bow your hearts. Bow your knees. Admit that you are a sinner. Repeat these words. Father God, I kneel before you today, a sinner. Please, Father, forgive me. I am so sorry. I know that you sent your only begotten Son to die on the cross at Calvary. And on the third day, he rose and is alive. Jesus, I love you. Come into my heart. 
this very moment. Wash away the crimson stain of sin. Make me white as snow. Jesus, I proclaim that you are the King of Kings, the Lord over my life, my new best friend. I will serve you all the remaining days of my life. Thank you, Father God, for forgiving a sinner like me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. If you said that prayer, please send me an email. I'll put my email uh, address below or a message right here on YouTube. TrumpetofGodMinistries.com, my inner city outreach mission to the hopeless, the hungry, the tired, the poor, the homeless in the inner cities. If you are led in your heart to give, we really need your help. The ministry is suffering tremendously. There is just no funds coming in. If you find it in your heart, if you're led by the Holy Spirit to give, I will put the link below as well. I've got mail. I wonder what else is breaking today. You said that prayer. Please, please contact me. I love you very much. The time is at hand. It is soon to be the midnight hour. God bless you.